We are in the Oklahoma City area of Oklahoma at an arcade that's new to us. We are at altitude 1291 and this place looks really cool. Um, they have food, they have fun, they have laser tag. They have like the coolest bowling alley I've seen in a long time. And then they have this like crazy rock climbing wall. We're gonna show you all of it. Obviously we're here mainly for the arcade, um, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna show you some of the other cool stuff. It's actually a hot day outside, so it's really nice temperature in here. And you know, I always recommend these arcades and stuff in the summer or for a rainy day, or I guess it gets cold here. That's not something I'm used to. So huh. this is a good year round activity. So let's check out to see what Altitude has to offer. Right when you walk in, you are greeted by the arcade, which is pretty sizable and has a lot of really nice, really well upkept games here. This is really cool. I really like they've, they've actually utilized the space really well and tucked a lot of games into here. Oh, wait, okay, so we have bumper cars over here and it's like hover bumper cars, which is really cool. And then this is what Katie was talking about. And this is their interactive rock climbing wall. It's an augmented climbing wall. You can see it has a big projector right here with like a computer that controls everything. And you literally can play games. Like it looks like there's like a maze over here. You literally climb the rock climbing wall. Oh yeah, cool, they even have their logo on there. That is so cool how they can do that. And there's just various games. A very rigorous visit, physical activity still I feel. Yes, this was tempting, but um, I've, I've never really actually done any sort of rock climbing. No, this is, this is awesome. And a nice soft pad here because I mean, if I even tried this, I would definitely fall off at least once. We got a little tiny ball claw over here, as well as a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. There's also a Wizard of Oz coin butcher here. But what do we see here? We have a golden ticket here and here. It literally looks like they just dispensed on either side there. Wow. Oh, look. Oh, they actually use their little screens here. They had a golden ticket on the little screen. But now it's advertising some sort of like food. This is, I've never oh, seen look. anyone use this screen so effectively. That is so cool. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna have to get one or both of these off. So the full set of all the cards is a thousand tickets, but the golden ticket alone gets you 500 tickets. I mean, if you can get one of those, it's 500 if you get both of those. That's a thousand tickets to start off this video, Katie. Wow. All right, Katie has swiped in only twice here. It's right on the edge. I mean, it's already, one corner is already on the edge. She's got herself lined up to, whoa. That is already a huge move. Yeah. This is awesome. I like them when they're right on the edge. I feel like they have less distance to go. Yeah, and so this, Hopper is usually only filled with golden tickets. And you can actually see they have labeled it for themselves saying golden tickets only, which is nice so that nobody messes that up. I do and like I that. And I see a golden ticket in there, so. I would hope that it would be golden tickets only, okay. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna get it in these here. Let's see what I get on the wheel. 50 oh, tickets, wow. that's okay. Well, there you go, you've already gotten a 50 ticket win. Yeah, if I'm gonna get tickets, I'd like a big ticket win. Exactly. It, it's shifting every time that you get a good little coin fall. I think you're gonna need more than the two swipes you put in there, but that's okay. Ooh, something fell out from under it. It looked like it might have shifted back just a little bit. You got one play, at least a good one. Look at that. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Okay, what do you think? I'm gonna put in two more. Oh, it's it said ticket payout was, um, let's see, 60. So it looks like I might be getting tickets when I uh, go through the Wonka bar in the back as well. Yeah, so. Each of the golden Wonka balls, you, bars, you can kind of see it's every third one should give you at least one ticket, I believe. Yeah, that would make sense. It doesn't, I think that it's not always the case, so I'm glad that this arcade has that. And it's nice to just get some extra tickets while you're playing. That's true. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's literally over. There it is. It's shifting every time. That card is coming from the top. I cannot show it because there it is. Yay! You've already gotten it. And who's coming from the top of Baruka? No, uh, by, by La Beauregard. Okay. Okay, so you've already gotten the one golden ticket. I'll grab that. Ta-da! That's 500 tickets already. Oh man, you didn't even need that second swap. I did I'm glad you had it though. I know. Okay, so I think I'll play these out. We might circle back for the other one, okay. but there's other games I want to play. That's true. And um, it's not too busy in here just yet, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Okay, we're looking around and check this out. There's also a Toto over here. Now this is not gonna be an arcade that we're gonna be able to play a lot at or we'll probably come back until next year. So we are gonna leave that for someone local. The golden ticket though is uh, different, you know, because it has the higher ticket value anyway, but the Toto is just the rare set completer. So sometimes we do just leave that for someone. But, uh, oh, what has Spencer found? Quick drop at a thousand tickets. Oh wow, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how this goes. 
Okay. I'm nervous. Press the button to drop the ball. I'll wait one more. That was on me. This one's a little loud. That was on me, I think. Sometimes, I think in quiet arcades, this always just sounds like the loudest game. <laughs> I think it's the timer ticking that stresses me out. Oh, you, oh, speaking okay. of time, you have a lot of time, though. Okay. I think I, it did get the last two in there, It did though. get the last two in okay. there. I messed up a couple times. I'm going to try it one more time. I think it might have needed two rounds of five, but I'm one, not sure. Did you do any rounds of five? I did. Okay. I did. You did one round of five? I, yeah, but I also did a couple rounds of three in there. I really messed up that one. This is my first time playing quick drop in a long time. Okay. So I do believe that the machine is in a good working condition. I got 47 out of 50. Let's Perfect. try it one more time. I still got 50 tickets, which is great. Oh, that's a nice payout for that. All right. It is only okay. five credits to play, which is nice. It Let's... seems like that's uh, about what most of the games are here, about four or five credits. Okay. Don't mess this up this time, Spencer. Oh, that wasn't on me. Oh, well. That's okay. This happens to me more often than not, where I get one good round in, and then I just don't know what happens. Sometimes I think the machine just takes a vengeance on Spencer. <laughs> That's my working theory, though. <laughs> oh, well, what the can you do? The machine is angry at All right, you. So I'm going to give this one a 50-50. It worked the first time. It didn't work the second time. Luck of the draw. Okay, we talk about Barber Cut a lot. It's a game that we like, but we don't love. Mm -hmm. um, for, I, I guess, like a whole plethora of reasons. But Spencer was just walking by. This is going to be a little hard to see. I'm going to try to get it in front of a green background. We might have to zoom in here when we edit this. But this front left one here is uh, quite literally hanging on by a thread. Typically, when it gets to that point, you can push it forward, too, and it'll snap because um, this does look like the original and correct Barber Cut threads. See the little like um, metal kind of like eyelets on the end? That's how you know that this is the one that comes right. to the game. We've seen some places use like weird fishing wire and stuff. Um, no, this is uh, this is how it should be. So it's a fifty dollar arcade game card, which is a, that's a value. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of the lower value. I think this kind of goes low to high, left yes. to right. So fifty dollars all the way up to two hundred fifty dollar gift card and an Apple Watch. Um, so one can make an assumption that from left to right has an easier payout. But I think this is worth trying because it's like really barely hanging on there. Yeah. And this one's only four credits four. to play, so that's a good value as well. All right, I know it's hard to see on the camera because it's such a thin thread, but yes, let's try. So I will try to Ooh. edit it later. I'm going to do my best to line it up here. This first one's also so hard because it's so close. The I first no one idea. is tricky. I have no idea how fast it'll go. That looked good. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Okay. Oh, I almost grabbed it though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> first one's always the trickiest one. So I didn't like see, we really. are just human, and sometimes we do try a game out and, you know, waste four credits Oof. or whatever, however you want to think about it. Okay. So this one is, you hold the button down, and you let the button go when it's in the position that you want. So you do right first, and then um, towards you. And you only have one shot at each. Yes. Um, so I'm going to do one more where I try to actually physically cut it, okay. and then if that doesn't work, I've either let it go or I don't determine it's ready. I think the thread is thin enough that I might be able to just push it out. Okay, great. So this one out. we're gonna go for a traditional style win where we actually cut it. Yep, that's it. That's that a cut. cut. That should that's cut, That's a guys. cut. Oh my oh. gosh. That's a cut though. Yeah, I think it cut the thread a it little did. bit more. It did, Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so are you going for a cut or a push? I'm going for a traditional cut. Okay, it's more fun that way. All right, that's good. That's a cut too. Come on, yes! Wow, you wow, wow! A fifty-dollar prize. Look at that! I, oh my gosh, that's only the second time that we've ever like won. I have we won Barbie? Yeah, because we won it at the other arcade yes. that we went to in Arlington, Alley Cats. But this is so the now, second time we won it um, for a YouTube video. This is awesome. Yeah, so we got a fifty-dollar game card. Card is not removed for cash or towards bowling. So we just take this card to the desk and they give us a $50 arcade card. Wow, well this video just got a heck of a lot better if we got 50 yeah. more dollars to spend yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going back for that Toto. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say. The toes! Why are his toes out? Because he's a wizard. Well, wizards can wear shoes and why does he only have eight toes? There's so many questions. Why is he wearing gloves and not shoes? Wait, I didn't realize he wears gloves. He's literally got gloves on and not shoes. 
Ugh, I just have so many questions Let about this wizard. Talks. But what I don't have questions about is how much I like these themed yes. spiky balls. These are yes. the big spiky balls. These are the, uh, they say Altitude 1921. I really like that. You know, we love a branded prize. Um, let's see, it's 13 credits to play, okay. which is about fair for these. And the ball claws usually are pretty easy to win. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? When am I not honest? But um, the blue ball that's sitting up right here would be the best choice to go for. Yes. I think we all know that, right? Yes. However, we are not gonna make a smart choice today because no. we've never seen a silver spiky ball. Uh, yeah, and I really like the silver. I think we're gonna go for this one, is that correct? Yeah, the one kind of in the middle there. Okay, so we're gonna try that first. If this fails miserably, then we would um, go for the blue one, but uh, I really like the silver one. I know, and I have some credits to blow now, Oh you guys. yeah, apparently. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Okay, and my time is literally 100, it says. A hundred seconds? Yes. Man, so there's a lot of things that this arcade does really well. I like their um, jackpots, I like their use of their advertising within the arcade, but I also like that their games have fair settings. I don't like when there's only 20 seconds on a giant crane no. because it's hard to walk around. You physically have to walk around and look at it and that can take a second. So um, love that, love that. We love a fair time limit. So I'm gonna really hope that this spins the right way to like just grab the ball. Okay, so we're putting everything that we want here in a hope. A little bit, uh, oh man, I only have 70 seconds left. Oh no, 70 All right, seconds. All right, this is it. Who, are you ready? Yes. This is looking good for They're me. They're so slow, these uh, big cranes. Oh, this is looking uh, good. Ooh, oh, oh, it's stuck. Oh. Okay, wait for it. Um, it's gonna go all the way down first. Yes, yes, close, yes. Close, 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 close. Yeah, it's oh, gonna close. It's, to it's gonna close. close. Okay, hold it. Oh, I hold really it. hope this, this works. This is what we want. Okay, it's holding okay. It's really slow though. Oh, this is agonizing. Okay, we're at the top. Let's go. Come on, Come on. don't bounce out of there. <gasps> You, you said it. I Because I was worried. You said don't bounce worried. out of there and it did. I think you're going to have to try again. <laughs> I won't say I, it this time. Okay. There's another good silver one yeah, down here with I'm nothing I'm worried that it. that didn't, it's not open all the way, which is the reason why that happened. Oh. So if this happens again, then we might we'll just talk to them, they're super nice here. Yeah. Perhaps it's gotten stuck. I imagine, actually, I'm gonna make a statement. So we've been to quite a few arcades on this trip already, and at almost every single one, some of them we haven't even filmed that, the giant claw like this has been broken. One even had a ladder inside of it because they were actively fixing it. So um, I don't know, I guess this is not our uh, week for giant claws. It's because of the toes. It's probably the toes. Okay. This one looks actually a little less inflated, so it'll probably be smaller to fit in there. Okay, so that was a perfect pickup by the claw. It's swinging a little bit. I think it should have it. I'm it not... had a grip last time, so it should still keep that. Okay, I'm coming around to the side. Right, but it swings so much. Oh, it's swinging a lot. Oh, no. But that one actually did fling it off of the front. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, I guess we've got to talk about it here. <sighs> Okay, we talked about it. We decided to do it one more time. Honestly, now I think we're involved in this, like we want to win it ourselves. Yeah, so they bounced off the front on that one. Yeah, we saw the, the front there. We couldn't see that before, so I'm glad I came to this side. So it has to perfectly kind of fit in there, and I'm a little nervous about that again. Which one are you going to go for? I'm going to see if I can go all the way back to that one again. I okay. don't think I can. And if not, I'm going to go to that one in between the red and the well, blue. Well, you, you know, you don't have a lot of time. Uh, that's very true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He has plenty uh, of time to check. Let me see, I don't think that's far enough back. Okay, he's going around for the official check. He says no, he didn't even have to walk all the way around. Now we have to make a decision here. I'm gonna go for the silver one in between the red and the blue. And I still want a silver ball. Okay, this silver one right here is where he's going. And we are almost in his way. Almost. Um, sometimes going, so obviously going towards the chute is definitely your best option because if it's gonna drop, you wanna have a chance to drop in the chute. However, on these big claws, the giant claws, I do like to note that I actually like grabbing stuff in front of the door because I have an easier time seeing everything so this is the door that i'm referencing big clear door and you can see everything in here okay here we go uh again nervous about it bouncing off the other balls kind of like we had on that first one it still worked out for us agonizing slow drop okay perfect very slow that was drop. perfect grab good grab I just don't want it to shake so much as it's coming over this way. Then the swing is what does it. If it didn't swing so much, see how it starts that as soon as it moves? Okay, calm down, ball, calm down. Spencer's watching from that angle. It's a little less swingy. Yeah, we did it! 
I'm glad we tried that one more time. Oh, so the it does actually go from the back to the front. Oh, like from the front to the back. It's not from the back to the front. Yeah, so it does not appear that it could open anymore. I guess that's just the design of it. Huh, but we did it. We got it. Three tries, of course. That was very fun, actually. Oh, man, this is a really cool ball. I love that silver color. And it kind of works with the whole aviation theme as well. I like it. Right on the other side of the Giant, we have another The Giant. More toes, but this one has plushies. Katie has spotted this lizard that's literally hanging over the chute. Now, the, the duck was my favorite. The duck is her favorite. But she said that when we first saw this machine. This intrigues me. Yeah, I mean, you have to go at least once for this lizard. I don't know how you're going to pick it up. I don't, I don't either. I think I'm going to go, um, I'm trying, going to try to not hit this chute. I'm going to go to try to go just past it. But it was spinning, right? It spun, yeah, a little bit. Not too much. Oh, jeez. Oh, I really like this purple frog, too. I actually like a lot of the things in here. All very cool. I like there's like an iguana back there that has a really detailed... Like, okay, I have oh, 30 seconds on this Okay, ball. so we only have 30 seconds as opposed to 100 on the ball, which is kind of nuts. That's a big difference, but okay, so she's going to come over here. She's definitely going to have to come forward. You're, you need to come forward, for sure, towards you. Towards me? Oh, yeah. It all depends on the spin. You're okay. technically over the chute right now a little bit, or at least on the metal. I, this is going to be a little bit of a gamble, but I think we should try it. Okay, give it a shot then. Here comes the big button. Hit the button. Push. Okay, so it did spin to the... Yeah. Did it get stuck? Oh, it might have gotten stuck. I'm a little nervous actually about it. Okay. So... Hmm. I'm not actually sure what I was expecting to happen there. Your claw actually went inside of like the metal housing. Oh, of course. That's exactly what I was trying to do, you guys. I'm an expert. Um... Do you think it's worth trying to get or no? It's hard because you can't really get behind it because there's a duck immediately behind it. Yeah, maybe now I don't like the duck so much. Um, <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Should I try it one more time? Yeah, I actually almost, uh, you know, I don't know. It's a hard choice. If you Would you go for something else? That's what I was looking at because the dogs are pretty good position. All of them are sitting on top kind of. There's no ducks that are super easy. I don't even think you can go as far right to get that one. Yeah, what about that other blue lizard? That is also in a good position. Should I try for a different lizard? Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, that one might be too close to the chute. So I'd at least give it one more try. I guess why not? Uh, I don't know. I keep, I've never I keep won looking a giant at that lizard. one. It's looking at me, the other lizard. Okay. I gotta oh, see I'm in your way. On. I'm so sorry. I only have 30 seconds. Oh, you do? 15 seconds. How do you feel? I feel pretty okay about it. I'm going, going a little more towards the head. Or? Yes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, it's let's definitely do heavier. it. The tail is like nothing because it's a lizard, so you can see the t tail literally tapers off. A good okay, lineup. A good lineup. So I'm not mad at it. It's and got then, his hand a little bit, which I'm worried about. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, I think his tail must be buried in there. Oh man, yeah, I, I didn't like that. Um, if anything, you'll take over that one one more time, but if you don't like that one, then I wouldn't even try There's it. other claw machines, so I think I'll circle around, and I'll, again, it's not super busy right now, so I can leave this as an opportunity to come back to. On this one, we have a couple of Monster Drop Extremes. Decent jackpots, 400, 496, but then we do have Stinky Feet, a super fun attendantless water racing game. You literally sit on a toilet, you choose human or duck, and then the targets rotate between the two feet and the bar of soap. I like this. I'm assuming that it gives you tickets. Not really sure. I don't think we're going to play it. But another Bob Space Racer is classic water gun fun here. All right, we usually don't show the redemption area this early in the video, but I think that we had seen something that we really wanted. So let's check it out. This is really cool. I see a lot of things. I love these, actually. <laughs> okay, 1550 points. That's not bad. Oh, a little purple sock monkey? Yeah, I really like that. I've never seen a purple sock monkey. Some really cool bikes, some large ticket items over here. If this is your local arcade. Oh, this is what I saw. This is what I want. It is an Altitude 1291 branded bear. And it looks like it's only 750 points. Only 750 points? Yeah, well, that's we already, not bad at all. We already have 500 tickets from that golden ticket that you got earlier. Oh, no way. We might already almost be at 750 tickets between the quick drop and that. Uh, so let's see. Oh, yeah, look, they got them up there. They're so cute. Some big bears as well. I really oh, like wow. that. Hello yeah, they Kitty. have a lot of plush. They have a lot of plush. This is actually some of the most plush we've seen, especially at like a local this arcade. This is a really cute bear. That is really cute. I like the rainbow version. It matches your dress. Mm -hmm. Hold up the bear to your dress. This one? Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> Twins. Why do I suddenly need a Kool-Aid mini puzzle? A Kool-Aid mini puzzle? Oh my gosh, a Pringles mini puzzle. Those are really Ooh, fun. I love all of those things. I know. This is an awesome redemption area. Look at these. They're so cute. Miniature unicorn. Ketchup bottle. Oh my gosh. Stop. Got you. Mm, now you have right. to fix it. Now we have to see if we have the 750 tickets required and go get some more tickets. Oh, wait. Those are really cool too. Look at these mugs. Oh my gosh, how do we miss that? All right, all right. Now, now we're gonna have to go get even more tickets. Okay, cheap game alert. We love to point these out for you. Um, it, of course, it just switched. It makes me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it was only two credits for. Um, I like. I'm gonna call this baby spin and win because it's little. You don't have big ones like massive. Yo. Um, honestly, I think for the space here, this was the smarter choice though. So there are two spots to win. Um, the jackpot is 250 tickets. Uh, the jackpot to credit ratio seems really good with that. I agree. So um, I think you should try it at least three times. Like, at least three? Or like up to three times. Ooh. I used the wrong word. And which one are you going for, bottom or top? I'm going to go for bottom. Okay. Now we know where to look. Do not try it three times. You don't need to because you are too good at this. Man! You're Come too on. good, Spencer. You're too good. 250 tickets right away. We didn't even have time to like talk about it. We barely breathed. We barely Wait. blinked. That's. They just gave me 400 over 400 tickets. 414 tickets. I don't know why. That's okay, the first well, time we played this game. I'm not gonna question that though. That is so weird. But okay, let's let's go. Okay, quick update. Um, 414 tickets is our total points. Um, wow. We usually don't get this like the nicety of an arcade like telling you your total points all the time. But that's, that's so, so cool. smart because like we're trying to get to 750 tickets. Now we don't have to like think about it. It counts up every single time. I love that. I've never seen an arcade do that before. It does, I guess maybe if you got like a really huge jackpot to make it a little difficult to see like where you started versus where you're ending, like how long you might have. Yes. But it, if you're not going for jackpots and you're just like a kid trying to get something here, I actually love that because it's really easy to see how many tickets you just have overall without having to keep coming over here and swiping and swiping. I, I like it. I like it. I think it's a good feature for this arcade. I agree. Okay, this is one of those videos where we're going to keep telling you we're trying to win tickets and then we're going to keep getting distracted by the new shiny object in front of us. Yes. And in this case, the shiny object is this dinosaur claw. We I love, love this. this one. I um, love and I it. love when dinosaurs are in it specifically. So Spencer controls um, the, the mouth. Okay, he makes it open and close, and then he drops the dino. So you hold it open while you drop it, and then you get to close the claw. I don't know, there's just something about like manually closing the claw, i.e. very similar to old claw machines, um, original claw machines, so it just feels satisfying. All right, so it's only four credits as well. So I'm gonna go for this big one that's kind of like... Oh, I... no, come back this way. No, don't go that way. Oh no, I'm gonna miss the one I'm going for. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I was just I was just shy of him. I was, you could see him, he's on the nose. Oh goodness. This chaos of Spencer. Alright, I'm gonna uh, try one more time. Okay. So I have to go for one. That's okay. screaming at me. Okay, one that's it's more very inside. loud. It's a very loud claw. I think you need to go when it's over like towards the side a little bit more. I, I think I have an idea. Okay. That's 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 code for I'm not listening to Katie. Grab you almost had its foot. Do I have it? Do you have it? I don't know. No! Oh, it no. got stuck! All right, one more time for that other one. See the brown one on the other side in the middle? Yes. That's the one you knocked over. Hey, is it? Yes. Oh, well, let's try that. Oh, no, that's the one you knocked over. I didn't think so. Okay. They're the same dinosaur, though. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. Okay, so not yet. But you don't control when it goes back and forth, right? Nope, I do not. Unfortunately, because it's going to mess me up. Yeah, when it's over there, it's no good. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, you have it by the tail I'm, and the I'm leg. I think in. it should have I'm it. There's like a tooth around the leg. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right, now I have to choose to let it go and... <laughs> nice. I got a dinosaur. Rawr! I do love this claw. That is so much fun. Oh, What am I going to do with this? We're gonna donate it. We're gonna donate it. All right, minor flash warning for this next game. If she wins it, it will flash. Tower of Tickets. 
Katie's on the game. There's a thousand on the outside. There's one on the inside. There's one on the outside. Okay. She's gonna go for this. See, it's the green one right there. I'm a little there. nervous about the hole in front of it. That can hole, help mm, or hurt you, you know? Yeah, the, yeah, it should be a little bit of it. So she's gonna line up at the end of that, edge of that wind spot. That was, I think, a perfect time. Oh! Ooh. Oh my god. Stay gosh. on the edge, please? Yeah, it okay. did stay on the edge. Okay, it did. And there's a lot more in front of it that could help you or it could push it a little bit too early. All right, so we're gonna wait for it to come around again. Oh, I was like, where the heck are you? I know, especially with two in the machine, it's a little it difficult. Looked, and it's like the same color as the hundreds and the same number. That was good, that was good. Come on. Yes, yes. flash warning. Okay. Look at that, a thousand tickets right away. Holy wow. cow, was that your second play? Yes, two times. The first time though was arguably very close, but I'm telling you guys, I have a really hard time figuring out, oh, there's only one 100. Look at this, a huh. green 100. And that green 100 I kept thinking was the Thapsin. Oh, yeah. Because... I like the version with the troll hair better because I have an easier time timing it with the troll hair. Okay, and look, but this one jackpot is counting up like one ticket at a time and it's not adding to the original total. Maybe it's just because it's so many, like you said. So when you get a big jackpot, you um, can know the difference. I like that. We got a teeny tiny little fun zone over here. It's so cute and little. What are you gonna play for, Katie? Um, okay, so let's talk about this. The yellow one is the obvious choice, I feel like, right? Yeah, it's the, the yellow best one right there. One. Um, but I like pink and purple the best. That pink one actually has like a little tab on top too. Okay, let's go for the pink one. I think that sometimes it's fun for us to try not the easiest ones because I think like if I was gonna watch my videos, I would wanna like know if it worked. Sure. You know, and it's like science. So. Yes, agreed. Okay, so try for that pink one. You can kind of see it, it almost looks like those little bouncy Look at ones. Jiggle. They go very jiggle. Oh, can you go that far enough back? Uh, maybe no, not. You cannot go far enough back. Oh, you're, no. you're with an entire one in front okay, of it. Okay, it's going to be the yellow well, one. Well, okay, after all of that, we are just okay, going to go so for the yellow one. Just don't listen to me, don't guys. Don't listen. You could go that pink one over the chute, but I trust your judgment in going for the yellow. Oh, I, no, no, no. <laughs> Why'd you okay. go farther back? What? I, you, I think you had a perfect lineup before. That's a little bit forward so. now. How much time do you have left? It does seem like it's either a little far forward or a little far okay. back. It's not like a perfect science to this one. That was a perfect lineup. Oh, it almost, Ooh. did you see that it grabbed like one of the Orange arms? Orange ones. Ooh. 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 Ew. Oh, 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 I don't, I don't like it. Ew. No, ah. Ooh. Catch. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like. Well, you won it, it's yours now. <laughs> That's great, good job, Kate. All right, go back in the machine now. Go. Ah! Okay, we actually see a lot of arcade photo booths, but this one only just runs on arcade credits. Trey, can you swipe us in? Let's take a video, or photo, on video. Okay. Okay, oh, it's like a, a strip, or you can just do one four by six. Let's do one four by six. Okay. Street art? No, frames. Frames, okay. Oh. Yeah. Um. Oh, they, they're different. Oh. Ooh. Ice cream. Oh, okay, this is this one. That's a ping one, but it's only like for one person. Okay. It's fine. All right. Three. Oh, wow, I did not do a very good job of counting. <laughs> I lose like three? It was already done. I think I, it's... I, I'm hoping it's good. Is it gonna give me the chance to review it? She's talking to me, but I can't understand what she's saying. She says she loves it. Wait one second, she's gonna have some coffee first. Thank you, Katie, for the... Um, and... Oh, oh, it's lighting up over here. Oh, is, that, is it going to come out? I think it is. This is so cool. It's printing, I hear it. Grab it, Katie. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. That is awesome. Wow, look at that. Just a photo just like that. And a little camera in there, too. You guys came along for this picture. Oh, Thank I'm going to keep this. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, when we say this arcade is on top of it, they have already, already restrung the $50 game card in there and the barber cut so people can continue playing. That's awesome. That is crazy. I love to see that. I've never seen an arcade reset a game like barber cut light that fast. It usually sits empty for like weeks before getting fixed, but they've already allowed people to continue playing. That's awesome. All right, we played a few more games for YouTube Shorts and we ended up with over 4,000 tickets. And that's on the card that we paid for and the card that we won. Um, so pretty cool, we were able to double our play here with that great barber cut win from Spencer. So, uh, well, I know we're gonna get an Altitude Bear. We have to figure out what else we're gonna get though. I know, it's gonna be a hard choice. There's so many fun things in here. We're actually up to that medium level, so even like that Mario Olympus 4800, we're almost have enough tickets for that, but I think we're gonna get a lot of smaller value items here. Make it a little bit worth our while. 
Okay, that was a very, very fun stop for us. And not only just because of the big barber cut win, just in general. So we got, oh, I'm not even showing this to you guys. Okay, there's our branded prize. I'm glad we got the silver one. Look at my little banner. Look how cute that is. And a lot of you guys ask, so we keep a shelf of our branded prizes at home. This does not get donated. That stays as a memory for us. And um, if we ever take any like Zoom meetings, that's the background we use. And then I think I think they said we got like 36 of these. We got 36 of those, yes. yes. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these just yet, whether we're gonna do something fun with them, display them or donate them or give them away. I don't really know yet, but I really like them um, just cause they're little like, they look like little gummy bears to me. But these seem very like, I don't know, fun for us. They make sense for our channel. So overall, we had a great time. I think your dollar goes really far here. And um, I think it's a nice environment. I think there's a lot to do. We've started to see these family entertainment centers really step it up with a lot of things like bowling and laser tag. But that rock climbing wall is one of the coolest things I've seen. And it's a great use of space in here. So I like a lot of the things that they're doing. And we will definitely be back next year when we're in the Oklahoma City area.